Hi, my name is Janice Moore Tipton and I live in the Applegate Valley, closest to the little town of Applegate, and I've been here now since 1975. I came here from Northern Oregon, where I grew up, and I actually grew up on a century farm in the Tualatin Valley, and I'm going to tell you about my family. My family came from Burns, Switzerland, Rosalie and Alfred, they met here in the Tualatin Valley and then had a farm and that's where I grew up was on a farm. The family came from Burns, Switzerland, they came via a ship, streamer, a steamer, and then finally ended up coming up the Columbia River to Portland area in the 1800s when Portland was just becoming a bigger place. And then they found their farm land that they wanted to be on out in the Helvetia area, west, about 25 miles of Portland. And it reminded them of home and that's where they settled. They actually came individuals and lived on the same farm for a little while because Rosalie came with her family and Alfred with, was, his, was with his family and they both ended up being on the same farm working and helping and building buildings for other people and then the two of them decided to get married and have their own farm. So they were then given the, far, the family farm which is the Gerber farm spelled G-U-E-R-B-E-R. -E so they lived there. They had dairy cows. My grandfather and grandmother then met. She was a Gerber, held a Gerber, and he was a Connell. And they met, and he was also had grown up on a dairy farm. He went to, before they were married, he went to OAC, which is Oregon Agricultural College, um, which was in Philomath at that time, and then now is what is Oregon, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> getting emotional. Um, it is now Oregon State at Corvallis. So he graduated in 1911 as an engineer, but he had a love of dairy cows. So he and some other fellows at the college took a procured Dutch cows from the Netherlands that were Holstein and I'm missing the other one for a second. Anyway, they crossbred those and developed the American Holstein, which we know today in America. He then moved home to the Helvetia area and then had his own dairy and had dairy cows for many years. I never got to meet my grandpa. He died when my mother was 16 from an injury on the farm because I couldn't get him to Portland fast enough to get help. So then my mother and my grandmother ran the dairy farm for several more years. Some of the things that we have celebrated has been our family century farm and we celebrated that in 1976 with all, excuse me, with all of our family there. I don't know why I'm emotional. It's just great talking about this. A couple of things I brought today to show you um, were a couple of items they brought with them from Burns, Switzerland. I inherited a zither that came across with them and I inherited the family, after I set this all up, I'll move it. I, I inherited the family music box, which also came with them and was their form of music in the evenings. They were a very gregarious family that got together and did things together. 
My grandmother actually grew up with 16 other siblings. She, there were 17 in the family. 14 of them survived. And when she was young on the dairy farm, her responsibility was to raise carrots for the dairy cows. So she took care of uh, three acres of carrots every year. Um, other sisters and brothers also did other kinds of growing. They raised onions and other crops that were for the cat dairy cows because this was prior to having the mixes we have today. My family grew up, I and my sister and brother and my mom and dad grew up on a farm that was right near the Century Farm, a few mi a mile down the road from, three miles down the road from the farm and a mile from my grandmother's house. And this is my family right here. Um, I am still alive and my brother is still alive. The rest of my family has deceased at this point. Um, I moved then to, after my college, I'm going to go back a little bit here to college again, to Oregon State. Um, my grandfather had graduated from there, as I said. My mother went to Oregon State but did not get to graduate because World War II happened and she came home to help on the farm and to help out with the Red Cross and became very involved with that. I then went to Oregon State and graduated in 1975 and then my, <clears throat> excuse me, my youngest daughter went to Oregon State and she graduated. So four generations went to Oregon State. So in 1975 when I graduated, I had gotten a job with the U.S. Forest Service because I love forestry and went, came down to Southern Oregon and stayed here since 1975. So I worked for the Forest Service for several years and then I decided to uh, stay home so we could have our family. And my husband had other work at that time too and so we've been here ever since. Through the time that I've been here, I said I came in 1975, I have seen quite a few bit of change in the country here in this part of Oregon. Uh, it has grown quite a bit. When I first moved here, there were scattered farms in the upper Applegate and ranches. Um, I met some of the early people here and worked with them. One was Buford Wells with the U.S. Forest Service. And he showed me a lot of the back country, a lot of the old cabins, a lot of the things that were here. And I got to see what a lot of the country was like where people weren't living anymore and where some of the old homesteads were and there weren't there anymore, it was just the land. So there was quite a bit of change from the old homesteads and people living fairly far apart to more of the urbanization of some of the rural area out around the Roosh area. I loved this area and decided to stay here and um, because of the long growing season, and I am a gardener and an outside person, so I really love this country. And I have learned a lot about the native plants here, and I'm very involved now in a lot of different environmental things that are for restoring the land where things have changed. And right now I've been working on a monarch butterfly project to bring more of uh, native plants back that butterflies and other pollinators will use. And I am very st strongly attached to this beautiful country because of the mountains. And I took one trip home to visit my family years ago and was in tears when I came back over the mountains and I said, I'm gonna stay here, this is my home. Because actually I was offered to take over part of the farm early on in the Willamette Valley, or Tualatin Valley actually, small part of the Willamette Valley, and decided no, I really love the mountains, so I came back to here and this has been my home ever since. Thank you.